In this video, I'll share eight of our favorite New Orleans wedding traditions. The rich culture of New Orleans weddings gives a guest experience like no other. Each element you add is gonna draw guests into your personal story, into what you love about New Orleans. Let's start with cake pulls. At your request, any New Orleans bakery will hide small good luck charms attached to a ribbon at the back of your cake, usually between the bottom two layers or between the cake stain and the first layer. Before the cake is cut, the bride has her friends and they're all called to the cake table and each friend chooses a ribbon. On the count of three, they pull out the ribbon and find their good luck charm. All the charms have meanings, like if you get the ring, you're gonna be the next person to get married. If you get the streetcar, you have travel in your future. Another way to include New Orleans tradition is to hire a New Orleans street vendor as part of your catering team. Rum and candy, beignets, lucky dogs, pralines, snowballs, muffaladas. You could also bring in something from Brocados. It's more of a Italian tradition, but it's a local favorite. You can try their cannolis or their Italian cookies. Or you could do a signature drink like the hand grenade or a hurricane, but I would suggest only serving something that strong for an hour or so. You've probably seen the mule drawn carriages parked in front of the cathedral or Jackson Square. Royal Carriages is a third generation family business and they've been here for 75 years. Also they treat their mules with love and care and their stables right here in the city. They have a specialty carriage just for weddings and they also have a location on the North Shore. You can leave in the carriage from your wedding and take a 30 minute ride around the city to kind of wind down after your reception. The next one comes straight from Mardi Gras. In between parade floats there are troops from formal dancing schools, high schools, colleges and intermixed with those are these self-organized dance crews that are so much fun. If you've heard of any of these, you've probably heard of the New Orleans Sirens or the 610 Stompers. So you can get a dance crew to surprise your guests in the middle of the reception. It gives your guests this boost of energy and it's super fun. Next is the second line parade. You can hire a brass band, get your own parade permit, and have your guests dance their way in the streets from your ceremony to your reception. You can also hire Mardi Gras Indians to lead the parade. Plus you can purchase your own decorative umbrellas for you and your fiance, and then do custom hankies for your guests. If you're doing a second line, you may also want to know about Go Cups. Most of the country has open container laws, but in New Orleans, you can take your drink with you from the wedding reception. So if you order plastic Mardi Gras cups and personalize them with your wedding details, that's a super fun favor that people are sure to use. And the last tradition is one you can't skip. Add some time into your timeline with your photographer to stroll through the French Quarter and take pictures. Stop in front of your favorite colors, get a picture on a balcony, and then roll of the busy street. These pictures are really part of that quintessential New Orleans experience. Remember that you can always make your own version of these traditions and do something that represents you and your fiance. Also check out our video on our favorite New Orleans wedding venues. Thank you so much for watching and happy wedding planning.